Welcome back to the Nissan Nismo Insider. I'm Alicia Kelly and today we're going to take a look at the commercial and marketing areas of Nissan Motorsport. Located in the upstairs section of the race team, our commercial department features nine offices, our boardroom and the theatre room. The area is the home to Rick and Todd Kelly's offices, plus rooms for our CEO, business directors, merchandise, media and marketing. To give us a brief tour of Nissan Motorsports commercial department, we've got commercial director Nick Ryan. Over to you. Thank you Alicia. Come on the tour and we'll show you around. First of all, as we're heading towards the, the boardroom, this is where most of the key meetings happen in the team. Now not specific just to the commercial department, this is where uh, all the technical discussions happen from a, uh, a key level and then everything that we're doing in here from a, uh, a commercial perspective. We have various uh, meetings from all across our, our departments including the, the membership side, the digital sides, the, the websites, sales, service, all those and uh, we'll take you on a bit of a tour and show you each of the uh, respective areas as we head through. First of all, we're looking at the sales and service department of the team. Now this is where we generate all the new sponsorships for the team and also where we look at the, the service area of the business. Service area is more specifically about how we activate the partnerships for each of our what are 55 partners in this group. So we have quite a large number of, uh, of business partners that have uh, diverse requirements in, in what they want to do and achieve out of these partnerships. You know, there's obvious branding that you see across the race cars, but there's also a whole host of things that go on behind it. One of those people that we have is in here is Daniel Scoble, who is one of the partnership managers of the team, who's heavily involved on the, the sales and the service side. Now, as we, uh, as we turn around behind you, this is where the, uh, the digital side, websites, social media, key area. We have Grant Raleigh that's based in here and also our budding cameraman today. We also have a representative from Norton, Owen Black, that's in the corner there on the phone at the moment. Owen is charged with uh, helping to drive all the Norton relationship that exists with the team. Next, when we look in here, we have Alicia Kelly, who's our esteemed host and is, uh, is holding various roles in the team. Mainly, it, it lies around a, a membership program, so all the team members, the, the Nissan Kelly Gang members, will have that interaction with Alicia works with Grant on the various websites and, and digital sides of things as well. Next step as we're heading through, we have Michael Wood, who... Hello. Uh, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> so, we won't, we won't go near that room for two specific reasons. Firstly, I don't know what's just happened. And secondly, because as you'll uh, glance past, you might see a few of the 2014 merchandise range that'll be on your shelves fairly soon. Next step, we have our chairman and CEO, who is John Crennan. John has a, uh, a, a, a very well-recognised past in, in V8 supercar racing in the motoring industry, and we're pleased to have John on board with the team steering the ship, probably for the last almost three, three and a half years now. And John is uh, instrumental across all parts of the business, not just the commercial side where he helps quite significantly, but also across the various technical departments as we have that. As we're heading through the last couple of departments, first we have... One of our leaders in here, Todd Kelly. Todd, more so on the technical side of the business and uh, I'm sure needs no introduction. And then as we're heading right behind him as well, we have his brother and also co-director and driver of the team, Rick Kelly. Rick is heavily involved on the commercial side, works across all the aspects. Um, I, I guess people ask from time to time what drivers actually do away from uh, the track day to day and um, I'm sure a... Uh, <laughs> What does he do? <laughs> but, uh, but one thing I can say for sure is, is both these guys have a, uh, a very hev heavy involvement and if you added up the hours would be in, I'm sure, to the 70, 80 hours a week in addition to what they've done behind the wheels. So uh, they're ensuring the ship is uh, under their control. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. He does love the microphone. Um, I think you'll agree there's a lot of people doing a lot of different jobs up here, but it's all for one common goal. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, we have to all work very closely and um, whilst... <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Uh, <laughs> I think one of the uh, one of the key things to mention is that whilst the technical side is very important and that talks about and showcasing how fast our race cars can go to, to a degree, we are the money behind the business to a degree. We, we have to drive the income that comes to the team, which also goes into all the develop, development and helps make the team go faster in a nutshell. So uh, up here it's very important that we work closely because our partners, uh, it's not just about what I mentioned before, it's not just about branding on a race car, it's certainly about all the different ways that they can interact and integrate and maximising it return on investment. 
So it's extremely competitive on the track, but as commercial director, do you find it even more competitive off the track? It certainly is very competitive off the track. It's uh, one thing, not just V8 supercars, but in Australia, uh, we love sport. Australians love sport. And there is so much activity in this country from all the various sports competing. So that's not just on the field or on the track. It's certainly off the track as well. So we're vying against all other teams in one respect, but we're also vying against all other sports in this country. Now, V8 Supercars has some great points of difference when we're talking about engagement that a lot of these other sports can't offer. So um, we have good selling propositions, but yeah, it's uh, certainly the way the market has been lately, it's pretty competitive out there. For more information on Nissan Motorsport, head to our website. And to catch up on past episodes of the Nismo Insider, click here now.